only thing that can kill Tarkov is BSG. I think. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I agree. The the game itself, and like even us, even us bitching about it. Like if we we all love the game, so I mean, yeah, he's one hundred percent right we're there. We're seeing them prove that point. Two hundred fifty dollars for this bad boy, for this pile of shit. You get access to PVE co-op with persistent progression. That's progression cash. will not be reset by wipes. Apparently, the PVE version's ass. Basically, the, it's it's offline, and instead of PMCs, you're gonna have raiders. But the, to think that they can charge that much extra for that is, is crazy. But yeah, like a PvE mode would have been cool. You might as well go play single player Tarkov. Um, I think this could have been better if it was like, you know, 20 bucks at most, right? This, this should have been in DLC through and through. People that had EOD 1000% should have had this, this version. This well, it's like that's what I was saying earlier. What the fuck is the DLC? What do they define the DLC as? How is a completely standalone, separate fucking game a DLC, but a goddamn PVE mode isn't? Like, somebody please explain that to me. It's fucking crazy. I like I, I I don't know it makes me kind of want to watch Landmark and stuff I've not watched Landmark in a while I and see like people give Landmark shit too for un, unnecessary I think Landmark's a, uh, he's a fine ass guy oh god even fucking Asmund oh god oh god what's Asmund got to say this is more a DLC than Arena was this is 100% more DLC than Arena and for those that paid a hundred and it's that's unarguably like unarguably so it's 100 percent more dlc <laughs> than arena is and you can't argue against that in any fucking form there is no ground anybody can stand on and say no 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 unheard is not more of a dlc no unheard is Unheard is its own standalone item that you can even play without Tarkov. You don't even have to buy Tarkov to play Unheard. Oh, wait, no. That's Arena. Oh, yeah. How much is Arena? What, 39 bucks? Well, no fucking wonder they included that. So they can make us pay 100 for this fucking shit. They give you a little $33 treat and be like, well, you know, that EOD was really worth it, fella. I really, I'm loving the game right now. It's just revitalized everything, right? and then oh jesus fucking christ this is this is money grabby yeah, uh, slap yeah. in the face to the the I would agree. player base and mm -hmm. it so is far, yeah. it's scummy it really is um and it's not so much this part it's not that this is half-assed it's it's as you go down this stuff is in the real game right um expanded pmc baited. two two extra slots not necessarily the biggest deal as i thought more about it it kind of is because you can put 60 round mags in your pockets so now you don't need to rock a rig you don't need to rock a backpack at all you could go in naked with just your gun in the labs or wherever whatever map and you can basically you know have a bit have a big come up uh pop one raider in the head once and get an entire fucking kit that essentially is worth maybe a million rubles depending on what the router what the raider role is uh with no risk besides a, a shitty gun you could go in with an avt and so that actually is kind of big um i didn't th i didn't think about that last night although rigs are cheap right you could pay 10 10k for a small rig so kind of yeah you can pay 10k for a small rig but i mean 10k over 10 raids 10k over 100 raids 10k you know you see what i'm saying shit adds up more slots in the flea market all right we're you know getting into yeah exactly the, yeah the, the little bit being a little bit much the yeah the weapons ass it's apparently just a, a seven dollar asset on unity so bsg basically paid seven dollars to then try and throw it in there a free asset even maybe yeah dude it really is just like but the knife it doesn't even have good stats right it looks cool fix your fucking game don't worry about adding background screens what the fuck I agree with that. Uh, free access to all subsequent DLCs. Season pass. Laughable. Yeah. Right? What yeah. the fuck does that even yeah, mean? I've anymore. heard that one before. Yeah. Heard that one before. Access to early test servers. I have played 15,000 fucking hours of the game. I've applied for early test servers. I haven't gotten in. I, I messaged the devs asking about it. They said, you have to apply and just wait. 
It's like, my man, I have played 15,000 fucking hours of the game. You're going to let someone in that just purchased the game, and that's gonna you're going to take their word more than 15,000 hours of gameplay? Like, what the fuck? It's a slap to the... Well, about that is it's like, let's be honest. There are things that somebody with that, whether he's good or bad, whether he's Landmark, whether he's Sheaf, whether he's Pesley, whether he's me, with that many hours in the game, right? There are certain aspects of the game you're going to be more fondly attuned and aware of than somebody who like, oh, well, let me pay 250 bucks. Oh, there's a test server. Let's check it out. Like, in my opinion, that can affect the development of the game because like what he's saying, if you're not taking feedback from somebody who's played the game, somebody who knows how this is, this feels, how that's supposed to feel, that could actually like hinder the development and the improvement of the fucking game. Like it, like even not even considering just him as a person, but like other people who have I mean, hell, I've got like 3,000 hours in it. So 15,000 hours, especially if you're a professional streamer who mains it, that's not that's not that hard to believe. To the face. It's a slap to the face. EOD should have access to early test servers, in my opinion, 100%, especially if you've been playing over 1,000 hours, you should be in early test servers. But the fact that they're giving it early test servers to people that just buy the game is... is arena all over again oh you bought arena you get access before eod i mean what's bsg doing to me with this brother they took my 150 dollars and went this dumb motherfucker watch this here's arena <laughs> oh all dlcs are free oh uh, but this next one yeah it's not a dlc it's a it's a separate edition of the game you see and in that separate edition is yeah something i guess you could consider maybe a dlc but 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 the dlc is in a separate edition of the game like god my, you know what i'm saying like how many fucking shit parties like i was saying earlier mental gymnastics these motherfuckers are doing back springs triple etzels like it's fucking unreal so ammunitions case three massive cases the gamma which i think the gamma part's nice to offer because uh they took eod away and yeah, so, so at like, least you have that having access now. the ability to, to still get gamma yeah, uh, honestly fine. i think I it should be better than gamma. they would have like some type of option to, to maintain gamma or get gamma for those that are just getting into the game but having a weapon case like you see i've drunk box and ammunition case like perfect example if you've ever played hunt showdown their dlcs are just gun skins and you know essentially what we would call pmc skins but like hunter skins that's it that's all their dlcs are so you know what i'm saying Tarkov has clothes that you can go and buy in their shop and stash upgrades and shit as well. Or, well, aren't those, are those, could those be considered DLCs? You know, start getting a little excited. And then now it's just like, well, shit, uh, we're going to have fucking V bucks here soon. Like what's going on? You know what I mean? Mommy and daddy fucking buying everybody like goofy fucking glowy rabbit heads and colored pickaxes you know what i mean like we're gonna be gathering mats and building houses like where i don't even know where the fucking game is going now after this shit hell especially now i guarantee you there's a few people thinking tarkov's a fucking scam real quick too especially with the way if you look back at the release of Are um, arena and the whole well oh if you're eod you'll get access oh but if you buy the game now you literally had motherfucking like people buying the game who were already EOD members because they couldn't get fucking access. So they just went on and bought the motherfucking game. You could tell like, you know, that's fucking, that's manipulative as shit. That's manipulative as a motherfucker. Gaslighting the fuck out of these people, dude, you know? Like I said, I want to hear what Chief's got to say about this part of the Tarkov uh, shit the real quick. And then I'll really actually probably play some bolt more action like rifles it. being level three, because that, that will get you past one of the quests. One but of, yep. so for one, the unique and, in game armband, you can't even show off because some of the clothing clips over it. <laughs> but some of the clothing clips over it. Unique radio electronic item, Mark of the Unheard. This is bullshit, dude. Item is equipped in a special slot. The item gives a 50% discount when using cash services in raid. Uh, that's not the biggest part. Insured equipment it returns 30% faster, not the biggest deal. With six plus scav fence rep, scavs won't shoot first at ranges over six <coughs> meters away. What the fuck? Dude, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. And then will be a bit available in future updates. Unique item distress signal device. When an item is activated, it produces a bright flash as well as a loud sound signal. Once activated, all players on your friends list will receive a notification that they can join your raid to help you.
ESG, what the fuck are you on? When it, people were bitching about it being like, exactly, bro. I can't, I, I cannot even fucking believe that they even like somebody brought that up and then somebody was like, you know, that's a good idea. You know, like, oh my fucking God, bro. DLC means additional downloadable content. PBE is a feature and a game mode. Just because you all want it to be, become DLC, it wouldn't mean it is one. It's featured game mode for the new edition of the game. I don't see how it could be anything other than a DLC. Who, whoever wrote it this, mean it is whoever one. wrote this is literally the pro, like the, you're the problem, bro. Get the fuck out. Like this guy right here, like DLC means additional downloadable content. PVE is a feature and a game mode. Okay. Well then shouldn't that just have been, I don't know, included in the game upon initial purchase? Or are you having to maybe, I don't know, download a patch and like download some content, downloadable wait right you, you're downloading the patch to experience this pve feature new game right so you're downloading that content uh, and this feature in game mode uh that should have been in the game from the start and from your initial 150 dollars investment okay uh just because you all want it to become a dlc it wouldn't mean it is one okay what does oh, i guess you just a little editorial post there that has no facts or basis that nothing there's like what why are you even saying that it's featured game mode for the new edition of the game so if you wanted to say it's a new edition of the game sure that's arguable but don't sit here and argue that pve is a feature and a game mode and then try to argue that that shouldn't have been included in the fucking game from the first start you, you see what I'm saying? Like, that's how fucking, like, delusional this fucking guy is. You now, his basis of the argument is, well, it's not downloadable content because it's a PvE feature in game mode of the game. Well, then if I paid 150 bucks for it, motherfucker, shouldn't that have been in, in the game from the start then? And seeing as that exact game mode, other than the fact that it's not wipeable and it's persistent, is already in the game... Shouldn't that, I don't know, be an update to current fucking game modes? Like, why does that one little addition make it okay to charge a hundred additional dollars? Why does that make it not DLC, but as I'm sure he's going to say, a completely fucking different, separate, standalone game, a different download. You don't even have to own fucking Tarkov, right? How that's a goddamn DLC. I'd love to see how this motherfucker explain that. If a PVE feature in game mode is a new addition of the game and not DLC, well, how the fuck is a whole other goddamn fucking game a DLC, you dumb motherfucker? Somebody explain that to me. Like, I cannot wait to hear what he's going to say about that because, like, you just want to fucking just... I just want to smack the fuck out of this stupid asshole, dude. It's featured game mode for the new edition of the game. I don't see how it could be anything other than a DLC. Because Arena's DLC. How is Arena DLC? And the funny part is, is you don't get, with, with this new game mode, you don't get Arena. So $250 for it. I, I don't know.